Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Live in the chat room at live.perillo.com, Pilot51 asked the question, what's better, ping or JPEG? Now, they're both graphics formats, but the two are actually used for two completely different reasons. Ping was actually created as kind of a, a backlash against the patents on the GIF format. Now, some people pronounce it GIF, G-I-F, versus ping, T-N-G. So, ping is there to replace GIF not JPEG. JPEG was around as uh, a way to compress images for faster transfer over like, well, the internet. Well, the problem with JPEG is that it's a lossy format, and so information can get lost, whereas ping is a lossless format, whereas all the information in the image stays as it compresses. Uh, that's the primary difference between the two. JPEGs, largely for photos. Pings, largely for screenshots or anything that you would care to use a GIF for. Ping also, again, supports alpha transparency, which means that if you take a screenshot with shadows, the shadows will stay intact as long as you define one color as a transparent color. It's incredibly geeky, and I don't have a lot of time here with this video to explain it fully, but that's the primary difference between ping and JPEG.